Thank you for choosing AutoBoss USA. We will now begin to walk you through our V30 setup and update procedure. First thing that we'll need you to do is power up your V30 with the AC adapter provided for you in your case, making sure you're not connected to any vehicles at this point in time. Go ahead and turn on your V30. You can see that it is beginning to boot up. Give it a few moments to load your system as it is verifying your software and licensing. If your touchscreen needs to be recalibrated, you may do so now at any time during the loading process by simply clicking the screen. Once you're at the V30 startup screen, you will see the options Diagnose, Setting, Self-Check, PC Link, Version, and Power Off. What we need you to do first is run a self-check. This is to ensure that nothing had been damaged during shipping. If everything is fine, you will receive the message, No Error Found as you see on the screen right now. After the self-check is completed, click the back button and select version. You will be provided your hardware version, software version, serial number, and release date. And the message, this device is not activated and ready for sale. Now go ahead and click activate at the lower left hand corner. It will prompt you to the next screen. Read the information above, and in most cases, the product has already been sold and paid for, so go ahead and check the box next to I have already acknowledged the information above and click yes. Now the original screen returns with the message this device was sold and registered password is. Please write down your password as it appears on the screen because we will need it to update your V30 software. At any time you need to update and don't remember your password, you can always go back to your version on your V30 screen. Now in order to update your software, remove your SD card from your V30 scan tool. In your V30 carrying case, remove your accessories bag and locate your AutoBoss SD card reader. Once you have located your SD card reader in your accessories bag, take your SD card that we had removed from your V30 earlier and attach it to your AutoBoss SD card reader like so. Now, connect your SD card reader into your USB port on your computer. Once your computer has recognized that you had attached new hardware, go ahead and click Open File to View as Folder. Please remember which drive you connected your reader to, as you will need to know for the software download section. Go ahead and open up your Internet Explorer and go to the website www.autoboss.com. Once our website has loaded, click Download, enter in your username and password provided to you by your local sales rep, and click the Submit button. It will now direct you into our download area. Find your scan tool and click the sentence, Go to V30 Scanner Downloads. Once you have entered, you need to download number one, V30 Update Client. Next to it will tell you the version and the date it was released. Now the download screen will pop up and go ahead and click Run. Give it a few moments and let the software go ahead and download to your computer. As it is downloading, another screen will pop up. Go ahead and select Run or OK. Now we will go ahead and begin the installation process of the V30 update client. The first screen you will see is asking you to enter in your name and your company. Go ahead and do so. And once you are finished filling out the form, go ahead and click Next. This next screen is letting you know where your V30 update client will be downloaded. If you do not like the placement, go ahead and click Browse and decide where you would like to download the software and click Next. Follow the prompt to finish downloading your V30 update client. Now go ahead and close up your Internet Explorer and boot up your V30 update client. Now use your serial number located on the back of your V30 unit as your login, and then enter in the password you retrieved earlier during activation on your version screen, and click OK. Once your V30 has completely logged in, click the Customer Info button. Fill out all the fields to the best of your ability, leaving the field distributor code blank. In some cases, through the request of your local sales rep, Autoboss USA Headquarters has filled out the form for you. You can either change it to your information or leave it as is. Click OK, then Yes to send your information to the server. Now you are ready to download. 
Remember to select the correct drive at the top of the screen to correspond with the one you connected your SD card reader to earlier. You may download two to three softwares at once, checking the box next to the make you would like to update and click download. Please be patient, allowing it some time to retrieve it from our server. Once the software has finished downloading, you will see completed in the status bar. Go ahead and click update. When the update is done, you will receive the message update successful. Now go ahead and click the management button on your right hand side screen. This is a list of all the available software versions you have downloaded so far. You may select all of your older versions from this screen by checking the box next to the software and click delete to remove it from your SD card completely. We have just completed the software update process and taught you how to format your SD card and remove your old software. Now we are going to walk through the V30 operating system update process. Go ahead and open up your Internet Explorer and go to the website www.autoboss.com. Once our website has loaded, click Download. Enter in your username and password provided to you by your local sales rep and click the Submit button. It will now direct you into our download area. Find your scan tool and click the sentence, Go to V30 Scanner Downloads. Before we download the V30 operating system, if you do not have WinRAR software, go to your internet navigation bar and enter www.autoboss.com backslash wrar.exe and click run. It will begin the WinRAR download, allow it some time, and follow the prompts until the download is complete. Once you have entered, you need to download number 2, V30OS. Next to it is the date it was released and the version that is available. Now the download screen will pop up. Go ahead and click Save. After you click Save, a screen will pop up asking you where you would like to save the operating system update software. Minimize your Internet Explorer and go ahead and double click to open up your file name osupdate.zip. Once your file opens up, highlight osupdate.dat and click Extract To button at the top. Another screen pops up. Select the corresponding drive that you have connected your SD card reader to and click OK. You will now see that the files are being extracted and downloaded to your SD card reader. Once it is completed, X to close the window and you are now done downloading your new V30 operating system. Now we are going to verify that your new operating system has downloaded successfully. Return your SD card back to your V30 unit. Go ahead and power on your V30. This time the loading process will take about 3 to 5 minutes or so as it is updating and verifying the new operating system. Please do not power off your unit at any time during the loading process because it could damage your unit. Once your V30 has booted up to its normal operating screen, go ahead and select the button version to verify that all your hardware and your software information is being read by your V30 unit. If all your information is readily available, go ahead and select the back button to return to your main operating screen and select power off. Once your unit has safely powered off, go ahead and power your unit back on one more time. While your V30 is loading once again, you will notice in the bottom right corner that your recently updated operating system version 3.3 is listed. And it will continue back to your main operating screen.